Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm sure you all know by now, big news coming out that well, World of Tanks console have announced that the cross-platform is coming next week? Yeah, next week? Wait, when, when's this video going out? Oh no, no, because if you... No, 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 this week. Yeah, 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 it's, this, it's next week when I'm recording it, but it'll be this week when you guys see the video. And, which means the lovely 360 is going to be dropped, which we'll get on that later, we'll talk about some of that later. The 360 is going to be dropped, and Xbox One will be playing against PS4. Now, it's as much as, as much as it pains me to say this, we're going to be losing a lot of players on the 360. Now, I did have a little look, and I did look to see if I could see any stats. Any stats at place. all about you know oh, how many how many people last year played all the tanks on the console? Okay, was it say fifty thousand or fifty million or whatever it's going to be from the 360 and then the rest are all from the Xbox One? Okay, and then I, I couldn't see any. I couldn't see any stats. I'm pretty sure it's out there. So if you guys have got that or know where to find it, then let me know. I'm not, I'm not going that way to find myself. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, nip that off yeah. But most of the player base, because the game started in 2014 on the 360, most of the player base is going to be either past 360 players like me who have moved over to the Xbox One, or they're going to be still on the 360. It's, it's, it's going to happen. So when they go, obviously, not all of them are going to want to go and buy an Xbox One, which... You know, it's entirely up to them. I mean, there's still games that I like to play on the 360 that luckily I can play on the Xbox One. So it's not a total loss, but there is some games I do want to play, and I can't. So I can understand why some people would keep the 360. I can. Oh wow, I've just got double hit. <laughs> I can understand. So, I mean, just how many players we're going to lose, or we have lost, I have no idea. But I can guarantee it's going to be quite a lot of players. So, I mean, they must have some pretty good numbers. Thank you, Light Tank. They must have some pretty good numbers if they know that they're going to merge in both, both systems together, that they're going to be able to keep the numbers and keep the player base, if you kind of get what I'm trying to say here. You know, if they're, if they're losing, just it's just, just a rough estimate, you know. If they're losing, say, 10,000 people with the 360, losing the 360, then... Does the PS4? Is there more than ten thousand people on the PS4? You know, is there less? Are search times going to get worse? Are they going to get better? You know, it's, it's they have more information about this than us, obviously, because you know it's it's their stuff, it's their company. They they all know all They're this, so they they know more than us. But it it, it would be nice to know whether we're going to be making a sacrifice in time for search times. Oh wow, I just tracked it down, really. In search times, because there's going to be less people playing, or whether the player number is going to go up, because of all the updates they're going to do to make the game better and that kind of stuff. Thank you, Manticore. You know, I, I want to know. Like, I, do, I do want to know this type of thing. So, yeah. I mean, so what, what, what do you guys think? Do you think there's going to be more players? Like, do you play on the 360? Do you play on the PS4? And, you know, what, what are the queue times? Do you think they're going to be like? Do you think they're going to be longer? Do you think they're going to be shorter? Personally, I think the queues are going to be longer. At least until they start putting some good updates in. I think when they start putting good updates in, the word will... Oh, well, we lost the game. We haven't. The word will then fly, and then people will start coming back that were originally playing, but, you know, stop playing because of all the silly little glitches and shit that happens in the game. So I think people will then start to come back and maybe the numbers will go up again. But obviously right now, I think we're going to be losing a little bit, so we're going to make sacrifices with uh, search times for at least the first couple of weeks maybe until they put some good updates out. Three going backwards. So they start putting some good updates out. Oh, wow, I missed. And then maybe the player boats pick up again. 
I know I, I do have some friends that play on the 360, play on the uh, 360 and the PS4, but yeah. Obviously, I don't know when it comes to how many more play on one platform than the other. Track it. Oh, machine, really? Oh, is that a Manticore? Gas tank hit. Not good. Just get rid of him. One tank left. Tanks up. Keep going. Come on. Get the Manticore. Let's change to HG. I'll be lucky if I get a shot on him. And I'm, I'm not going to bother wasting 20k and um, repairing my engine. Oh, I hit him as well. <laughs> I actually hit him as well. Uh, so yeah, it, you know, just to just just to you know put the word out there, kind of thing, you know, about it. I mean, I don't know whether I don't know whether the games are going to get better straight away. You know, whether it's going to be like one big update and they're going to be adding stuff in straight away. Or whether they'll just they'll feed it to us slowly, you know, one of them. Oh, excuse me. If, if they feed it to us slowly, and give them this little bits and bobs, little bits and bobs. But I reckon they should do it slowly, personally, because if they throw a load of stuff at us straight away and be like, "Yeah, this is all the stuff we're going to give you," you know, new graphics, new, you know, reusable consumables, better maps, better tank balancing, you know, all that kind of stuff. If they throw that at us straight away. Then, unless they've got some really big plans down the line, they're going to start running out of uh, things to do, aren't they? They're, they're going to start running out of ideas and things like that. So, you know, let's hope, let's hope they don't rush it. Let's hope they don't rush it. Because, yeah, they could they could ruin they could ruin it. I mean, this is going to be a big thing for World of Tanks console. This this is a big move they're doing. I mean, it probably doesn't sound very big to some of you out there, you know. Some of you out there are like, yes, get rid of the get rid of the 360. You know, we get better, we get better stuff, better this, better that. But, hmm, I'm 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 worried about the player base. I'm worried about the. Oh, come on, tier tens again. Ugh. Oh yeah, look at that. There you go, two tier eights. <laughs> oh boy, we 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 had two TDs. They had two heavies. Anyway. Uh, so we got, uh, that gets fixed. So uh, yeah, I, mean, I just I hope it's, it, that, that, that they don't ruin it by doing it. You know, by shutting it down and yeah, I just I really I'm just worried. I don't, I don't want them to ruin it. Move up and capture the enemy position. And if you don't know what I mean by ruining it, it's with player numbers. Like like I said before, if the PS4 and the Xbox One don't have the same amount of numbers at the end as when the PS4, when the uh, Xbox One and the Xbox 360 together. Okay, I'm terrible at explaining stuff. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrible at explaining stuff. Uh, I gotta put this, right. Okay, I'll, I'll simplify it down for you. Let's say together, the Xbox One and the Xbox 360, together there's 20,000 players. Okay, there's 20,000 players that play on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. Take away, say, 10,000 from the Xbox 360. How many players then are on, are on the PS4? Is the numbers going to be more than 20,000 when they merge them, or is it going to be less? If it's less, queue times are going to get a lot, a lot longer. Especially peak times, especially like late afternoon, late evening for like people in Europe where there's less people on. So if you're in a tier 8 tank, you're going to get tier 10s a lot. And I mean a lot. You will get tier 10s a lot. Like, unless you're extremely lucky, you play, you know, especially in Europe, I don't, I don't know what it's like in the American one, American servers, but in Europe, if you play a tier 8 tank, say half 11, 12 o'clock of a night for us, Almost all the time when they get tier tens because there's just a lot of people, a lot less people playing. Now, is that going to be a thing that's going to happen until they start updating the game? Are you are tier eights going to get tier tens constantly more? Are you going to get? Oh, well, I missed. 
are you going to get less people playing because of the numbers until they start updating the game? Like, if, if they announce that they've got big updates coming out straight away when the when they, when they drop the 360, then maybe the player numbers won't dip so much because people that have been looking forward to certain updates will come back. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I know some people that wouldn't play the game until they fix certain things. Oh god, artillery. Until they fix certain things. Now, if they announce them things are being fixed, they probably would come back and play. Question is if they're going to do it straight away or not. That's, you know... So basically what I'm saying is, if you like playing lower tiers and you don't like going against tier 10s all the time, yeah, you, you might want to keep an eye on your games that you play, just in case you're getting a lot of tier 10 lobbies. I mean, personally, I don't mind going against tier 10s in tier 8. Because if you kill them, damage them, you get more XP, which is always a good thing to have. That's why, I mean, people say they want the plus one, minus one to be permanent. Now, I mean, I am one of them people that have said I do want plus one minus one to be permanent, because I think in the long run, it makes the game a lot more fun to play. But, but XP-wise, you get more XP for killing tier 10s than you do for killing tier 9s. So, I mean, they're going to have to adjust that, aren't they? Is it going to be a thing where you're going to get the same XP for killing a tier 10 as you're going to get for ki killing a tier 9? If the plus one minus one is in permanently, so again, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that happened in this year as it is with the world. So all the tanks are trying to give us a lot of stuff as well. It's, it's, it's going to be a really, really fun space to watch. It really will. This, this is big. This is this is this is a really, really big week for all the tanks. It really is, especially if PS4 players can send messages to Xbox One players, vice versa. I mean, I think party chat might be a bit much. So, I wonder if, if they're going to be an in-game party chat. Do you know what I mean? In-game like in -game chat system that they can talk to each other by. Because I'm pretty sure Xbox and PlayStation won't allow them to talk to each other. Oh, bounce really. Talk to each other, like, for a party. Because, you know, Microsoft, Microsoft and PlayStation are not exactly best of friends, are they? So, that's going to be interesting to see. Is that going to be a thing? Oh my god, come on. Which, I mean, you know, I'd, I'd like an in-game chat system. It was going to make the game a lot more toxic. But I'd like an in-game chat system. Oh, we got four kills there. But I guess we're going to have to wait and find out, aren't we, when, the, when they release patch notes and, you know, things like that. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know, in case some of you didn't know, but, it's, you know, if you're out there playing the 360... Wait, when, when does this video get released? Yeah, no, so it's already gone. <laughs> I think this video's Wednesday, yeah, this video's Wednesday, so yeah, you've already gone. So, uh, oh, is it Thursday? Oh, is it Friday? Oh, oh, shmeg, it could be Friday. Oh. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will catch you all in the next video. See you later.